Hello everybody, today we are doing another weekend in review. This time, uh, the theme was steampunk and valentines. Sadly, they didn't have as much valentines items as I hoped, and they didn't have as much as last year, so that sucks, but at least some of the items they released this week was pretty cool, so I'll just go over them. I don't know if this is like the real order they came out. I think they are, so... Just going over how they were updated. So first, I think. Oh my God, nothing's loading. Just wait a second. Okay, I think this came out first. Dapper Gear label pin. I think it's pretty cool. I mean, it's only twenty five robux. I have no idea why this color is like messed up. But <laughs> for twenty five robux, it's pretty cool. I think it's cool. I mean, just a label pin. It already has like almost ten thousand sales, which is pretty good. So yeah, it's just a little thing. It's probably good for war groups. I think it's pretty cool. I think if you have enough Robux, you could pick it up. I don't think it's going to go limited, but I think it's just cool to have. Um, then I think this came out. Plasma Disc Top Hat. It's a top hat. Top hats usually go limited. I don't think this one will go limited because it just doesn't look like the normal one. I think it's good. For a ten for like 100 Robux and you get a top hat, I think that's worth it. I got it. It looks nice. It's about... Almost 4,000 sales, which is pretty good, actually, for this. Um, looks, I think it's pretty good. If you want it, you can buy it. You don't have to. I don't think it's going to limit it, so... Yeah, that's what I think about that. Then, the Mortal Sword, the Heart Sugar, came out. I already made a video on this, so you can go check that out, but... Um, I mean, it did well. I think it has, like, 45k value right now, and that's pretty good. So, if you bought it for 14k, you made, like... 30k profit. I don't know if my math is good. <laughs> yeah, I think you made 30k profit. It looks okay. It's decent. So yeah, good to the original owners. And also, I also has normal demand, so that means it, it's not a horrible item. So yeah. This also came out the same wave as the Immortal. It's just a dinosaur tail. I mean, I don't know. It's just like regular old tail. 300 robux is more expensive than a lot of the other tails, but it is more detailed. I mean, it's cool if you want to be a steampunk dinosaur. I think it's pretty cool for 300. It only has like 300 sales, and that's that's really low. So if you want it, you can get it. But I don't think it's ever gonna be limited. Um, then I'm just gonna load up these before so they don't get stuck. Then. Cavalier K flying a shoulder friend. I mean, it's just like a regular owl. It's for 400. I think that's a little bit too much for a shoulder friend. Yeah, there's a lot of cheaper ones. Uh, I don't even know where it is. <laughs> it's not even there. It has less than 200 sales, which is not a lot. So yeah, if you just want something rare, I think that's good. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's it's one of those broken things. It's like stuck to your shoulder. Oh, it's sad. <laughs> So if you just want something that goes like that, then you can buy it. I don't think it's ever going to go limited. Like, I don't think most of these items are ever going to go limited, since steampunk items don't usually go to limited. But if you want them, you can get them. Yeah. Uh, this compact back time machine looks like a backpack. Um, For 200 Robux, I think it's pretty cool. It's cheap for a backpack, I would say. Also doesn't look too bad, so if you want it, you can get it. It's about 700 sales. I think it's pretty cool. I don't, it's never going to go limited. Backpacks don't go limited. So, But if you want it for looks, then I think it's pretty cool. Uh, then this, Blackheart Wings, came out. It has around 250 sales. For 600, I think it's pretty cool. I just... I mean, it just... Yeah, it looks nice. It looks like... Uh... Let me just get the thing. I think it's like called Web Wings or Wispy Web Wings. Yeah, this one. They look like this sort of. I think it's like sort of the same like that, but just this is like a heart. Yeah, it sort of looks the same, but it reminds me of that. See, so yeah, I think it's pretty cool. If you want just some cool wings, you could pick these up. And then we have the Steampunk Fox Mask. It's like. Almost a thousand sales for 300. I mean, if you want to be a fox, you can get it. I don't think it's ever going to limit it. But it's cool. It's creative. I guess. 
Yeah. Then there is this tie four fifty. I like how it's just not connected, it just like sort of like goes together. It looks like a clock. It's really cool. I think I'm gonna pick it up later. For fifty Robux I think it's a nice pickup. It won't go limited because ties don't go limited, but I think it's pretty cool. If you just want it, you can get it for looks. Yeah, that's what I think about it. And then we have this metal flower bowler. So bowlers usually sometimes go limited. Not all the time, sometimes. I think this one looks really nice. Steampunk looks really good. Uh, it's for a nice price of 250 and it only has like 135 sales, which is not a lot. So if you just want a cool bowler on your head, I think it's nice. You probably won't see it because my astronaut head, but I think it's a cool item to pick up. If you just want a bowler that's cheap and looks nice, then I think this is a good pickup. It might go limited, but probably not. Then the last item that came out were these Valentine's Throwing Stars. I mean, it's a gear. It's a Valentine's gear. It won't go limited, but if you want it, you can pick it up. For 400, I think it's a bit too much. I don't know. I got it because it's just holiday related, but and it's only 52 sales, so it's not common, and they are pretty small, like, when you're holding them, it looks like you're holding hearts, it's pretty cool, if you want it, you can get it, I think these are pretty cool, and then, that's all the items that came out, but, they did scrap an item, it was called the Gyrgios Necklace, I think, um, Roblox tweeted about it, they had a link, it was broken, so they just messed up their own item, that's great. And then they deleted the tweet after, so I guess they realized the mix messed up, but they never fixed it and it never released, so that's sad. This could have been cool. I don't think it would have been limited, but I think it was it would have been a cool addition to have in the catalog. I probably would have bought it too. Uh, so yeah, that's one scrapped item for the sale. Uh, yeah, that's that's this weekend. I think it was pretty cool. Uh, I'll do this every weekend. Um, but I, for next weekend, the sale, I won't do a video until Wednesday for the weekend review because I'm not going to be here during the sale. Sad, I'm going to miss it, but I think it's, uh, I'll give you all an update, like a whole sale review on Wednesday when I come back. So, you can expect that. That's this weekend review. I think it was pretty cool. I mean, steampunk is always a nice theme. It comes out, like, every year. Valentine's Day... Uh, it's also pretty cool. I just wish they had a little bit more items revolving around that. They might for like Thursday. But yeah, that's my thoughts on this weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all next time. Bye.